All right, so I bought a broken Nintendo Switch. I don't plan on, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it, but I bought it just so I could have a look inside. Um, it was advertised as console only and water damaged. What I wasn't expecting is that the side bits didn't come attached and they're missing the screws. So if anyone knows where I can get the four, I guess, I don't know how many screws that hold this Joy-Con connector piece on there, that would be great. Obviously they've been in here before because while this one is in the right spot, this little ribbon cable, on the other side they've pinched it in the wrong spot and it will not go into place down here, it can't reach. So let's see if we can open this up. Come on camera, there we go. I can see a few screws around the outside here. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, four screws. that off to the side. There's so many fingerprints in here. Look at that. Someone's had a field day in this thing. Okay, so now I need a Phillips head. Try this one. Take this big heat sink off. One, I see four screws, five screws, two, one in each corner, three, four, and then one here on the SD card, micro SD card slot. Oh, here's one here too. And you can see this ribbon cable's just it's supposed to come out over here like like this one does. Okay. Oh, and there's one in the middle as well. All right. There we go. Any more? So I don't even know if that was plugged in. Uh, I can see the here is the water indicator. So yes, it's definitely water damaged. And it looks like they've probably already cleaned up a bit in there considering all the fingerprints that we found. Let's how does this come out? All right, it just pops straight up there. My multimeter probes probably won't fit in there, but let's try anyway. Let's see if I can get any reading off the battery. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Yeah, I can't make good contact on that with those probes. I'll need to get some thinner probes, I think. These ones are just too fat. Alrighty. So the battery is definitely stuck down with some adhesive.
There's fingerprints all over this fan. I don't see any corrosion, but like I said, they've probably, oh God, probably cleaned it up a bit already. Is that even in? I'm not sure that this plug is even in. I mean, it might be, but usually they come down further than that. Where's my tweezers? Let's try these ones. Yeah, no, I don't think that's in. Let's take this. This one off. Okay, not magnetic. Come on, autofocus. There we go. Take this board off. I think this is the card reader. Okay. So that's, maybe I need to take the, okay, there we go. That's definitely not in, but I, th I have a feeling that there's also missing the um, the locking mechanism that these cables usually have to keep them in there. Oh, my other tweezers. There we go. Let's see what we can do. This is a really, really tricky one to get into. Yeah, I think it's missing the cover. I think we need a new actual connector here. Because like all these other connectors have a locking mechanism and this one seems to be missing. So I can't even insert it in between the pins there because it's just it's missing the guidance. I wonder if we can use the microscope. It's not really helpful today. Let's see. There. There we go.
Yeah, I'm certain that that connector is broken and it's missing the locking mechanism. Hmm. Cool, all right. I do want to kind of just get this back together. How does it go? Hmm. Like, is this cable upside down? This cable's bright orange on the top. And this one's bright orange on the bottom. And it has to be like this. Maybe that's upside down. How does that unclip? I've definitely bent the pins on that one. Good one. Good one, Tess. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go, that way. But the pins have bent. Cool. Alright, so we've broken the pins on that one anyway. If it goes this way, it still wouldn't fit in, would it? So this has to go there. Look, it doesn't really make much sense as a... Come on, autofocus. It doesn't make much sense in the direction that it goes when it... Because it comes in there like that. And it's got to avoid that. Got to avoid the screw. Yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting one. Alright, so I've definitely 
found one broken and this one I may have broken as well. Yeah, come on. Let me put you back in. This is how we learn. Like this. Oh, this is a crazy design. Go in there like that maybe. There we go. Yep, I've broken that off. That's alright. We're here to learn, not to fix today. That's cool. Alright, so here's a speaker. There's another speaker. This is the USB port. Looks good down there. Here we have a heat pipe and a fan. Let's take the fan off. Let's just have a look at everything. One, two, two screws for the fan, any more? We have to take this off. The fan and the heat pipe together maybe. There we go. All right, what's connected here? That's the fan connection there. Oh, okay. So the heat pipe's not connected to the fan. But they are very close together. We got the button cable here. It goes all the way up to the buttons on the top. Power and volume. Let's just undo that. Undo this white cable and this black one. Let's just take the whole motherboard out and have a look. Because why not? Okay, so that's that. And then we got speaker cables. How am I going to pull that out? Maybe some tweezers. The cables look too thin. If I pull on the cable, I think it'll break the break the cables out of the connector rather than pulling the connector bit out. There we go. What else needs to be undone? That one there. And this one here. Okay, is that all the cables? Looks like it. Let's take the motherboard out and have a look. One, two. Three. Four. Any more? Is it held down here on the connector? Yep, all right, that's, that's all the screws. Let's have a look. See, it doesn't look at all dirty or corroded. But it definitely had some damage and definitely people have been inside, so I'm not sure. Well, here we go.
I'm not sure if we can zoom in a little bit more. You can see that there, here, there's definitely corrosion there and here. Maybe this camera would be better. There it is. There, you can see the corrosion around this chip around these components here, these capacitors, and that would be, okay, so right near the game port area of the underside of the board there. There's definitely some moisture in here. Okay, it might be possible to fix it if I can, I mean it's a hard job isn't it? I do think this must be broken, I'm going to have to look it up and see. And I'll definitely need a replacement connector for this one because I'm almost positive that I bent the pins on this one. Alrighty. Let's see if any of these cables have any any corrosion on them too. I mean this one definitely does. It's only small. If I can show you there. Okay, come on camera. You can do it. Just under here. Can you see it? Not really. It's only slight anyway. We can just clean that away. So the other ones may have been cleaned already. What's this? Alrighty. So I'm going to do some research into this connector. Yeah, that's for the screen and this connector and see if we can't get new ones put on there. It's going to be a pretty hard job as I'm not sure how we're going to do it. There's a lot of components on the back that are very tiny, so I'm not sure. Very small pins here. Yeah, I can see the damage here and the water here as well, right near the Joy-Con connector. Alrighty, well that was fun. A little tear down going on. Pop that back in there. I can see it's going to be a bit painful to take apart and put back together. So what I might do is just leave it apart for now. Or should I put it back together so I don't lose all the screws? That's probably the smarter thing to do. There is a cable under here I'm trying to grab. There we go. 
And this one. And this one here. And I've just wrecked all the others by grabbing that one. Okay, this one. And the screen cable. Microphone and Wi-Fi. All right, what's stopping me here? There we go. All right, I'll just put all the screws back in quickly. So the two silver ones went around the USB connector. These four black ones went on the main logic board, motherboard or whatever it's called here. And this one. Then what do we have? We have all the cables. Um, this one here. Okay, that was these ones here. Give me tiny little screws. doesn't want to go in there. I'm not going to force it. Let's try the other one. Come on you. Right, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to force it. It can just sit there for now. Um, that's what I thought. All right, let's put the fan back in. The fan had these two funny looking silver ones. They got a large barrel and a small little threaded bit at the bottom. One, two. Heat sink went over the top. Sink had silvers. Three silver screws. Now these ones, I couldn't get in there so 
Maybe this one here. Oh, come on. Don't go missing. There we go. It's so small, these things. Okay. So that one went well in there. Still couldn't get anything in here. But I'm almost positive it came out of there and not here, but because uh, here would be the larger screw, wouldn't it? Where's the back plate? Yeah, so that'd be the larger screw. So I'm pretty sure this last one has to go there. But I don't want to cross thread the hole either. Not just yet. All right, that went in that time. Excellent. Uh, yes, I'm not plugging anything in just yet because I am just going to take it all back apart again very soon. How did this? Wants to go in like that, just to be out of the way. Silver ones are for the heat plate. Okay, so then there's one in the middle, for sure one here, and another one in this corner, right next to that Joy-Con ribbon, and the last one will be in the opposite corner with the other Joy-Con ribbon. Perfect. Okay. How would you ever know that was plugged in? And then I'll just lightly put these last screws in. And then I will call it a day for now. Go do some research on those plugs. See if it turns on. Come back another day. 
So it's surprising actually, there's not much in there and it's all pretty modular. So barring a problem with a proprietary chip, I mean theoretically it should be able to get some form of function out of it by the end as long as I don't destroy all the connectors. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching and um, I don't know if you got anything out of that, but I certainly did. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.